Yo, what up guys? Jackson here, back with some more strategy for you. Alright, so you've just killed Vicar Amelia, you've cleared left out of this door, you've cleared right out of this door, it's time to go to the Forbidden Forest. You'll get the password from activating that skull after you kill Vicar Amelia, and that's going to allow you to open this door down here. So we're just going to start at the Grand Cathedral, where you kill Vicar Amelia, we're going to run out here. We're just going to skip all this stuff. We don't give a shit. Make sure you go back and spend all your blood echoes you got on Vicar Amelia. All this stuff. Make sure you go back, spend that, level up. I suggest you focus mainly with health and stamina. That's going to be my advice. Level the rest, but level them slowly. You'll get plenty of blood echoes in New Game Plus. You'll just boost everything up, so... Gonna come out here, there's an NPC right there, go ahead and talk to him. Remember to check all around, because you just did kill Vicar Amelia, so the story uh, has shifted a little bit. This is the room, you're gonna talk to that dead guy, he's gonna unlock the door, and then you're gonna realize he's dead. Anyway, you come down here, gonna drop down here, you take this shortcut, I guess. It's a shortcut, it probably equals out the same thing, you run down all the stairs, I just like to drop, it's fun. This is the Forbidden Woods, guys. Now, for the sake of right now, this portion of the walkthrough, we are not going to cover a huge chunk of this. We are only going to cover a slight sliver. So, when you first come out here, make sure you check everywhere. Come whip back here, get these items. Some cold blood. I'll have a double blood on the rocks, sir. That shit better be cold blood. You come down here. Now, you're going to want to, there's a guy up there, I don't know if you can see him that well, but he's up there. He's throwing clay pots, so that's him. You're going to want to run up there and get him. Usually that guy won't hit you up there. He'll kind of just stay down there and try to hit you. Usually he won't hit you. That was a lucky shot he got on me. Kill him. Okay, now there's a lamp straight ahead, but we're not going to go down there and get it yet. It's down there. We're going to dip back over here. We're going to take care of a little secret side area. Be careful up here, guys. There is one of the big, uh, big armored knight guys. I don't know exactly what they are. We'll just call them assholes with big fucking saw pole arm. That looks more like a pole arm less than a blood. That's huge. Anyway, this big asshole... Try to get a stagger. These guys get a little bit harder to stagger the higher up they are than you. As you notice. And you don't really do a lot of damage to them. See? So I was like, if that's not going to work, I'm just going to whip out my axe. And I'll just do it like this. Now if you time your charge right, you get really good damage on them with them. Just be really careful. Those dudes can be super lethal. Anyway, once you've killed him, you're going to come up here, and you're going to get a couple of cool little items. Madman's Knowledge again, and a Dead Blood Jug Zone. So it's cool, some stuff. Pretty sure that one is blunt damage, so if you get some good ones of that, you use that on the axe. It can, uh, like if you hit him once, it'll refill your whole rally bar. You'll get all your health back. Okay, so now we're going to come down here, and now we're going to get the lamp. This is the first lamp in the Forbidden Woods. You'll get familiar with it. The Forbidden Woods is massive, guys. I'm going to say that right now when I do cover them. I'm not going to call it a complete walkthrough because I'm sure there's areas that I'll miss or forget. There's so much in the Forbidden Woods. Fucking massive area. So don't, you know, feel like scared to vary from my where I go and what I do. Because there's other stuff to see. You might find some cool stuff. Always explore. I'm just going to show you the streamlined version. And what I can remember. I'll do as complete a walkthrough as I can remember at the time. But I smoke lots of weed. Kill these guys. You're not going to want to push forward too far though. Because there's actually going to be a trap right here. See that right there? That thing is a trap. Don't touch it. If you want to touch it, roll immediately afterwards straight forward and you should miss it, but you have to roll right when you touch it. You can play around with it. 
I wanted to sit there and see if I could get both of those guys with it, and I could only ever get the guy with the torch. That's a quick little way you can go. You can drop down there. That's a little shortcut area. You don't have to kill all these mobs. You can also drop down back here, and I'll show you what's back in that area here in a second. But for the sake of this walkthrough, I'm going to show you how to clear everything. Every encounter made easy and simple. Okay, so these dogs, you're going to run along here. One of them is probably more than likely going to kill themsel himself, if not both of them. It's not often that both of them don't kill themselves. If you just pull them along that cliff, they end up running into the fire and dying. Okay, so grab that. I killed those two dogs. They're a problem out of the gate. Come up here. You're going to come back up here where you first pulled the dogs from. And you're going to drop right down here and you're going to take out these clay pot jar thrower guys. They throw oil at you and then the dudes with the torches can burn you and it gets hairy. Let's just get them out of the way. You want to stay up here. That patrol may or may not have taken notice of you. If it did, you get overwhelmed or outnumbered. Always work your way up to this bridge where those two dudes were throwing pots. It filters them up in a nice little that right there. And also, you can just drop off the back if you get in trouble. And work your way back around. It's a good, cool little, little raised area you can drop right down onto. Alright, so we'll go this way first. There's a, some cool items up here. Fall, there's an imp right there. Definitely kill him. Try to kill any imps you see from this point on, because they're all going to be dropping the shit you want. Stupid crows. Kill them now. This is a super good place to farm too, guys. This little area. If you just clear up to a certain point. I'm going to show you that for this video, I'm showing you an optional little area you can go to. And uh, it's going to give you the invitation to Kanehurst, which is an optional, er, huge optional area with an optional boss and an optional faction to join. So we're going to go take care of that first. That's why I'm saying we're only going to be covering a little sliver of the forbidden ones. So this is just the opening area and this is going to get you to a marker point that I'm going to I'm going to point out and that's where we're going to begin the next video for part 2 of the Forgotten Woods. And it's going to get more in depth with the Forgotten Woods. It's going to show you how to safely clear all the mobs up to the shadows of Yarnum. So it's going to probably be a couple videos cuz like I said the Forbidden Woods is huge. We're just making sure we clear this area really good so we don't have to worry about anything up to this. This is the marker I told you guys about. Be careful, there's a trap right there in front of the gate. That's the marker. That's where the next video is going to start. So get prepared for that to be back here. So you're going to come up here. There's these dogs in cages past this house. Make sure you talk to this house. Remember the last video I showed you that room? said you needed a certain item this is the item you need so get this this is going to open another optional area it by way of the lecture hall the first floor which normally you wouldn't get to the second floor until for a while but we're going to go to the basement floor and then from there we're going to go to the nightmare frontier and an optional boss fight with amygdala but for the sakes of right now, I'm just going to show you how to go through and get to Yusef. Cause, but that that's the stone that you need to have in your hand, and you need to get killed by the portal. And that's how you get into the Nightmare Frontier. So we're going to pull ahead a little bit, kill those wolves just so they don't come at your ass. We're going to get a super nifty item that comes in handy up here. Alright, kill these crows. Stupid birds. Alright, there it is, right there. This is going to be the white church set. This is really good shit. Equip it right away, because where we're about to head, it's got poison water in it, and this has super uh, poison resistance. So make, your, make sure you equip that stuff. It's going to come in handy. You want to slide down here, and we're going to go back this way, back where we killed the doggies in the cages. Go ahead and equip some uh, antidotes right now. Get those equipped. You're going to want those just in case. Just in case. You might not even need them. I just like to have them. 
Okay, now this is an area I'm not going to clear. Once again, remember I told you earlier that I will not clear an area if the items do not warrant the trouble involved with clearing the area. This is one such area. Feel free to clear it once if you want. Be very careful, there's a super easy way. Make sure you just lure giants to this door. You can kill them at this door fairly safe and easy without getting poisoned. For the sake of this, I don't, I'm not going to do it in this cave. Don't want to deal with it. Run right towards that little torch. You're going to dip up here. And you're going to come right here to this ladder. Go ahead and need an antidote if you want to. I didn't really need to. I wasn't slow poisoned or anything. But I'm going to cut out these ladder climbs. These are long ass ladder climbs. They had, I was over the time limit for the video so I'm going to cut them down. So there's that ladder you're going to climb up. Huge ladder. This huge ladder again. I'm going to climb out. See like I said huge ladder. You're going to climb out here. You're going to go grab this item real quick. You're going to unlock this gate right here. It's a little bit of a shortcut. It leads back to the starting area so you can just dip through here from Yusefka's clinic. The lamp come over here you're gonna go down this stairwell make sure you look around okay guys now coming up here there's this squid chick I'm gonna show you I'm gonna cut it I kinda had to cut it down a little bit but I tried to fight her to see if she was possible to kill I I remember skipping her the first time she's not guys she's not possible to kill at this point don't bother with her she's there to kill you you can very easily run away from her see that I, she didn't even get staggered by my charged attack man See that? She don't give a shit. So, like, don't even bother with her. Don't even bother with her. She will kill you. It will end bad for you. That's my second death. So what we're going to do is just going to hurry and grab this mad, mad knowledge because she ate all her inside anyway. We're going to climb up this ladder. She can't come up it. She can keep the blood echoes. She's a bitch. Whatever. We're moving on. All right. So up here... We've got just a whole bunch of crows. You can skip them fairly easy going around that side. I decide to kill them. I just want to kill everything. That's my deal. I like to have, especially since I just lost a whole bunch of blood echoes. That sucked. So you want to you want to kill everything. All right. There's also a glitch involved in this area. I'm not going to tell you it because this is a first like time walk through and I don't believe you should use it your first time through I think that if you do you're actually gonna be a weaker player because and you won't you're gonna be struggling on bosses because if you don't know if you you know you just overpower yourself then you're gonna okay so this is the way you're first gonna go you're gonna go left in there now when you open this door there's an optional boss up there you can fight her now I recommend you don't because you're gonna get a super important key item from her one of those third umbilical cords I showed you in the old hunter workshop you're gonna get one of those from her later on so I suggest you don't kill her you can if you want I don't know what she gives you because I, I just use her as a super reliable third umbilical cord because I'm not certain where the fourth one is so you're gonna come down here Go ahead and fight her if you want. She's pretty tough though. Be careful. Come down here. And you can go through this door safely. There's going to be an alien dude in here. But also that item right there is an awesome, awesome item. It's going to open one of the, my favorite optional areas. One of my favorite optional bosses. The Castle Canehurst. And remember that's in the... Hemwick Charnel Lane is the prompt for that. Anyway guys, then you're going to open this door and if you remember this is right where you began the game. Dip down here, take your lamp back and head back to that town gate in the Forbidden Woods. That's where we're going to pick up the next video. Good luck guys. We'll talk to you later. Stay safe and goodbye.